Okay, tutorial speed run. So I'm going to make a, uh, a looping noise, something I found very, very useful. Um, and it's very, very handy if you want to make those like uh, looped animations or whatever. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be doing it in geometry nodes, but you can also do it in the shader editor if you want. You're just going to have to, instead of using scene frame, just use value. I'm sure everyone knows this already. Hashtag frame number, and that automatically brings you to the frame. I could use that in geometry nodes too, but I'm not going to because I have a node for it. Um, so yeah, I got a super basic scene here. It is a grid with 100 subdivisions. I probably don't even need to explain that, really, do I? Um, so we're going to add noise. That is noise number one. Um, and I'm going to change it to 4D. And I'm going to add a second noise because the solution that I have come up with, um, it works using two noises. Um, I'm sure it's probably a really obvious solution that a lot of people have made, but I haven't really come across it. Um, so it's two noises, and the W slider is one unit apart. Let's just say one one of the noises is at W0, the other is at W negative um, 1. And then over the course of the, of the animation, both of those W sliders are going to be driven up, um, so that the, the first one is then at 1, and the second one is at 0, and we end up back at W0. Um, and over the course of that, um, our, our animation duration, uh, the duration of our animation, we're also going to be changing the mix factor in between those two noises um, from the first to the second. So um, yeah, after we got the two noises, the thing we're going to do is get a mix RGB, bada boom, bada bing, um, and then we got to plug it into our super simple scene. And we're going to turn these both down to like 0.2. Okay, radical. Now this is not changing at all because they are exactly the same, but we are not going to have that for long. We are going to try and mix between those, um, as I was saying, using the scene frames, and we're also going to add a math node, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the frame, we're going to divide it by the number of frames in our scene. So we're just going to start with a 100 frame scene. It's not exactly 100. I'll go over that later. Um, Okay, and we're gonna plug that into into the W, first of all, into the second W, second of all, and into the mix factor so we can switch in between them. And just so I can show you that this actually does what it does, I don't need to do this. You, it should just work and you should know that it works because it's pretty obvious, but I am insecure about my abilities. Um, so yeah, frame one, we're at almost zero. By the end of the animation, we are at one. Um, that is good. That's what we want. So this is zero, two, one, five frame number. Cool. And then second thing we're going to do is we're going to get another math node and we are going to subtract one from there so that this W slider is at negative one, one, negative one. And this should already actually work. This is like the super basic setup. So I'll show you. We are at um, see frame 80 and hey, it, uh, it didn't jitter. That's kind of cool. That's kind of rad. Um, it is just kind of like kind of morphing back on itself just because it doesn't have time to, to do one entire loop. But, um, yeah, that's it. So the next thing we're going to change is, uh, we're going to try and add a speed control. I have something in my eye and it is bugging me. Um, so we are going to add a value node, which is going to be the speed. And then we're going to add another a math node, which is going to do math. In this case, it's going to multiply. Um, and what is it going to multiply? It's going to multiply all these numbers that we're putting into W sliders. Um, so yeah, we're going to put um, plug that one into into there. We're going to replace this W slider with uh, with that one. Um, I'm just going to move these a little bit to clarify everything a little bit. Um, except we don't want to just multiply or subtract one down the, mundur, lum, the number line. Now we want to subtract by however much we're multiplying this whole thing by. And so, yeah, this value now is driving the, the two W factors also minus that entire value. So if we do this, okay, it's at zero now at one now that's uh what it originally was at but now we can change it up to to that and you can see get to the end of the frame and it's a perfect loop woohoo okay so let's quickly uh, uh let's quickly make this a uh, a group 
Um, cause that will be nice and easy, I think. Uh, okay, speed run, speed run, Chris, don't forget. Um, so yeah, first thing we're gonna do is uh, number of scene frames. Let's go in here. Um, group um, scene, oh, let's do of scene frames. And it's not gonna be float, it's gonna be an integer. And uh, in this case, it is 100. I mean, it's not really, but for all intents and purposes at the moment, that's what we're gonna do. And then I know we just made this value node, but I hope you didn't grow too attached because we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of it. We gotta, I'm sorry, this is just the way of the world. No! Oh, you're already, you're already plugged in, okay. Uh, I messed up. Um, and there's gonna be uh, noise speed, because we all have a need for speed sometimes. And we're gonna, we're gonna crank it up a little bit. And it's not working. Hmm. It's not, not very cash money, because this needs to be 100. Why isn't it 100? Okay, there we go. Um, okay, I figured it out. All right, sweet, rad, this is working. Um, we just have to get a couple of these noise parameters into here. I'm just connecting them into both of the group input things, roughness, roughness, distortion into distortion. Uh, okay, sweet, now you can see Everything works. It's uh, it's sweet. We're we're not going to change the number of scene uh, noise speed. We can speed it up. We can slow it down. Um, we can scale it up, scale it down, whatever we want to to do. We can add distortion if we want. That's kind of fun. Um, but yeah, no matter what, it's gonna it's gonna loop, which is uh, pretty yeah, pretty cash money. Um, Cool, but we do have a problem still that I've been keeping from all of you. I have kept it a secret, and that is that if we want to start this noise loop not on frame one, we are in deep, deep doo doo. Um, so let's say it starts on 50 and ends on 150. Actually, we'll say 151 just because. Um, you can see that that original zero to one by frame number thing that we made. If we, oh, it's already it's already going down the. Oh, the group output. That's uh, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, it starts it starts at 0.5, not not zero, not almost zero, and goes up to 0.1. So it's actually super super easy to fix this. All we gotta do is make another math node because everything is math, math, and we just have to subtract. I think. We have to subtract the our start frame. Um, so we're gonna bring that value down. We're gonna bring it up, 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 up. Um, yeah, all the way to the top. We're gonna change it to an integer, and it's gonna be start frame. Um, but also, um, just because, just because, um, you also need to add one um, to. I've I've kind of been avoiding this this whole this whole thing, um, <laughs> not for any particular reason. Um, see, there's actually 99 frames in our animation, but I'm pretending there's 100, um, but there's not. Um, and that's the that's the whole doubling thing. You don't want you don't want the first frame to be zero and the second frame or the last frame to also be to be one, because then nothing changes. Wait, start frame. We're starting frame 50, because um, then nothing changes. They only very slightly change. Um, that's because we're adding uh, 0.5. We're adding zero. You can see nothing. They're the same. So if you get to almost the end of the loop, we got that like one jitter of uh, of nothing really, nothing happening, and that's really disorienting and awful, and we don't like that. So we're gonna add one. This isn't actually perfect. Um, it kind of it needs to start at at neg at one and then end off at at negative one, I think. Um, but it, it works well enough. It, there's like a little bit of a change. Um, I've you can barely 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 notice. Okay, speed run. Um, so yeah, that is that is it. That is all you gotta do really. And now we are start frame 50, number of frames 100. Um, if we want to change this to 200, we can go to 250. Um, yeah, and it should work. Cool. Uh, noise speed, let's crank it a little bit, get to the end. 
I think that that was perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, so that is if we want temporal noise. What if we want uh, spatial noise? What if we want this moving like in that really cool Arendelle tutorial that he put out that is way too confusing for me with cosines and everything. I am I am not that smart. Um, it's super easy and it should be super easy for anyone who has ever done uh, geometry nodes because um, we are just going to take the... no, not that. Search for the position position in all caps because we're angry like that. Um, we're going to add a, a vector math position into the math and then we're going to do combine XYZ. That is going to go into into the X. Yeah. Yeah. Into no. Uh, what am I doing? That is not at all what we what we want. We actually want this going into into that into that vector and then all of this all of these three guys are going to be going into that vector and then instead of this whole thing uh driving the w factor we're going to be driving the uh the x or y whichever you want whatever tickles your fancy and then we're going to be doubling that we're going to be doing the exact same deal down here so instead of the w factor let's go into the x and then that into the vector, put that in the vector, right? Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, that's all you gotta do if you want it to be uh, spatial noise instead. Um, it's not exactly perfect. You'll see that it does kind of wave a little bit, like it doesn't stay in the exact position all the way across. It does have a tiny bit of a wave, um, which is especially noticeable if it's going really slow, but is not really that noticeable um, if it's going a little faster. But it's just so dang easy to, to change the speed um, why is it slowing down? Why is it slowing down? That's not right. Because that's not plugged in. That I told you to plug in, but it didn't plug in. No. Plug in. Ugh. Okay, now uh, it should. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it was like a little bit too noticeable before. Um, so let's actually bring that down again. Just test that out. So let's bring this down to like 13 and yeah, you can see like it changes a little bit throughout the animation, but like not, not really that much. And it works, it works well enough really. Um, so yeah, I think that is, uh, that's kind of it. That's the way you bring yourself into a, uh, a 3d, I don't know, 3d 1980s, uh, moving, moving land animation type of thing. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. This is, this is what it looks like at the end. The whole, the whole thing kind of, kind of messy. Um, uh, let's bring those over. I don't know where to put these. Uh, let's put that there, that there. Okay, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, thanks. I uh, hope you learned, learned something. Uh, bye.